Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be varnishing this little painting I did um, close to two years ago now. It's been maybe a year and a half since I completed this. I recently um, got this back from the owner. Her name is Eleanor. She is seven years old <laughs> and um, it's time to put some varnish on here because um, when I she did receive it, it was still wet and um, it's taken me a little bit of time to get it back and for me to varnish it so it's time for some varnish. So I work with Winsor Newton Artisan mixable uh, water mixable oils with all of my paintings. It's the medium that I really really enjoy using and um, only reason why is because I don't like to use harsh chemicals in my paintings um, like turpentine and all that kind of st stuff um, I don't like to use that stuff because you do need a very well ventilated area to paint and I don't really want to be painting in my garage with you know the garage door open and especially in winter I live in Canada and I I know people that do that but I just don't like to so and I really like to work on a table whenever I paint. Um, that's uh, my choice, especially for small pieces like this. Bigger sizes I would work on an easel, but I, for this size, a table works just fine. So that's what I use. Um, I'm going to show you all the things that I use to varnish and um, we'll go from there. So I'm just going to get this out of the way and show you two brushes. So this one here I'm going to start off with. This is just, um, it's a water watercolor brush. Um, it's a natural brush and I'll, all I'm going to be doing for this is just wiping away any dust that settled on the painting. And then for actually putting on varnish, I'm just going to be using this brush. It's a synthetic brush that I will be using with the varnish. And that's pretty much all the brushes. The varnish that I'm gonna be using is the same brand. Um, it's the Winsor Newton Artisan Water Mixable Oil Gloss Varnish. I love this stuff. This stuff makes all my paintings look like they were just completed. So it still keeps that wet look. It keeps the colors extremely vivid just as I painted it because I find with the water mixable oils that it some of the colors look a little dull after a few months of sitting on the canvas or whatever medium that you've painted on. So I really love this. There's um, UV protection with this as well. So any sunlight that hits it, it's not going to yellow it or tarnish any of the colors. Um, it's still going to stay nice and bright, but always if you do buy painting, don't put it in direct sunlight. It's just not a great thing to do for any painting. So yes. Um, I also want to mention that with you see a little bit of shine right there. I'm just using a camera that has a light on it um, just so you can see the colors a little bit more vivid so you will see a little bit of glaring when I do apply the varnish on. So let's get started with varnishing. Okay so I'm going to turn this painting over and I totally forgot that the back is got like a velvet teen and there's a little bit of dust on it so I'm just going to take some tape and try to remove the dust that's on here so I don't like the look of that um, my niece has uh, some cats so <laughs> I know that there's some cat hair probably inside of the frame as well so I, I noticed that there was a few there there's one right there you can kind of see it just 
just grabbed it. So I'm just going to remove some of that. This is not a necessary step for varnishing, but um, I just like to do that. Just makes it looks look pretty and I'm spending time on cleaning the piece as well. Okay, so I've taken most of that off. This is also going to be like, I'm removing some of it because I will have some of the dust on my hands as well. So I'm going to put this away. So if when I go touch the painting, um, I don't want to put more dust on it. I want to have as least dust on it. Okay, so as you can see, Eleanor was the age of six when I painted this and I did this in 2007. So it has been two years since I painted this. I'm just gonna take it out. So I painted this on some illustration board. And so yeah, so now I'm just going to take the brush, the watercolor brush and just kind of just take anything off of it, remove any dust on it. I work pretty vigorously, so sometimes I apply too much pressure. It does. I never ruin the paintings. I've done this so many times. This is a really, really soft brush, so I'm not too concerned of it removing anything. Okay, so I'm gonna place this down. I always like to varnish on something clean. And um, yeah, so we're gonna just start doing that. So I'm gonna open this one up. This one here, the lid has, uh, there's a, there was a black um, lid on here that covered this part, but it just kept breaking and cracking on me. So I ended up removing it with just cutting it off with a knife. <laughs> And um, this gets stuck quite easily. So I just use one of these things that removes stuff off of lids. It just helps out. Okay. And I just pour at this, this point. So I'm gonna do a little bit of zooming and um, see how that goes. There we go. And then let's just pour some of this on here and then we will varnish. So I don't need a lot. As you can see, the colors are becoming really, really vivid. So I'm just gonna play with this right now and just let you see what's what happens. I always love the look of this, it's so cool. gonna be really simple and easy to do because it's such a small piece and won't take me a lot of time to varnish this piece but I just want a really thin even coat of this varnish on this painting Now 
um, just lightly gliding this on. I'm not put, putting any pressure on here because I don't want bubbles. And there we go. That is varnished. So I will let this dry. Um, I usually wait about two hours for it to dry, but I so I know I'm able to like touch it. But I will definitely leave this to dry for a day and then um, go from there. And then I will put the painting back inside the frame and then she can take this painting back. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. A little bit of varnishing so you can see how I varnish, what kind of products I use. Um, so there's a little bit of bubbling happening, but those are okay. They will go away. Sometimes I just use the brush, the corner of the brush, just to take away some of it. But that's that's usually it. But yeah, I hope you like this video, and I'll see you soon. Bye.